So I do have a few ideas um, regarding what direction I want to go as far as the design goes for this top er area, this top thing. Uh, I still don't know what to call it. Over the cap um, um, sleeping area. So this is uh, this is what I initially came up with. You know, something. Um, you know, you t traditionally, you know, these t these things up, up on top are kind of curved up this way and. You know, I've added a few like little gills design, a little little cove here as a, as as part of the design. Um, and I will be installing a light strip, a built-in light strip on the on the front of this, and two little lights on the edge on the ends of it, as well as um, some light strips down here. Um, so you know, that was initially my my design there. And also the you know some little compartments down below here, um, so uh, I think that this this is pretty typical, pretty um, you know more it's more traditional. I think this is like the traditional way to go. Even uh, even adding these things and adding this thing, you know, just the shape and the design of it is kind of. Um, uh, typical in my opinion you know I was thinking that you know I was you know by adding these you know I was thinking by adding these little things would kind of make it different um, and unique and let it you know make it stand out but um, however after you know just really thinking about it um, I wanted to go with something really out of the ordinary um, as far as this top design goes so what I came up with is this design here um, so this design was kind of inspired by some some what do you call these front bumpers that I that I was kind of looking online and you know I I think I do want to install a bumper eventually I like to install a, a bumper up in front with with um, with a hitch and and um, with these bumpers, these light bars are already incorporated in it. And what I like about these these new style bumpers, you know, they look kind of like um, they look very rugged, very masculine. Um, you know, they got like straight lines or straight flat faces, edges. I wanted to try to make you know something not as organic looking not you know not as round or not as um, I, I don't even know what to call it because I know you know this design probably would have been real nice to look at as well but I wanted to do something really different you know something like uh, you know make it look almost like an armor truck style well maybe not an armor truck but um, you know kind of military looking where everything's kind of kind of boxy and and um, you know straight lines everywhere so I'm gonna go with this with this look here instead um, so eventually uh, maybe I'll incorporate that same design down from my from my compartments down here once I get to to this area here so so again this is the design I'm going with um, you know inspired by you know the bumper that I just kind of picked up from online this was my initial idea and this is my you know new revised idea so um, I don't know I don't know some of you guys might like it some of you guys might not like it I like it I think it's it's kind of kind of cool and, and different you know just try to do something out of the ordinary you know out of the box so uh, so this is my board this is gonna be my platform and I actually already got these um light bars here I ordered them I ordered them online so you know that's this already has a curve to it so um, I don't I guess you can't really I don't know if you can't tell but 
the front face will have a, a curve to it um, and then um, you know just kind of incorporate a, a flat piece there and, and incorporate flat pieces up here and make some kind of gills I don't know some some kind of thing up here to kind of tie in with the back with the rear um, panel so this is going to be my my front and it's, it's a pretty good um, arch I think it, it's not a really deep arch it's you know very very wide so I you know I'm going to actually use the the, the radius of this um, curve here from my front and you know I'm going to incorporate this um, light bar I have a uh, you know the other little little lights here um, and then this is like a medium sized light bar in here that I'm going to use for the bottom bumper the main part will be this light bar that I will incorporate into the into the design so the first thing I'm going to do is build the housing for that thing that way I can build everything else around that it's a one and a half inch um, square uh, pole and these are going to be used for the joist inside or the the columns or joist whatever you call them um, and ideally I do need I do need a a joist inside curved you know the, the um, curve to this radius of this light um, there are several ways that I can do that I, you know I've you know I can potentially curve this thing here um, you know by by curving it with um, steam and water and heat and all sorts of ways that I can curve this thing but um, I don't have the time to do that or the the knowledge really to to, to um, successfully curve it to the to the exact um, radius that I need so instead so what I did is I got the, um, this board and I'm just going to cut I'm just going to cut my curved um, joist for the inside um, and I ended up getting this um, this band saw here from from Harbor Freight this thing was a hundred and twenty bucks I think um, so you know I just got it all set up I'm not sure how I'm, where I'm gonna bolt it down you know I have my handheld jigsaw you know the problem that I have with this is that since there's really no no guide it, it actually ends up flexing as I cut I mean I can cut I can cut exactly and uh, you know 90 degree cut if I if I cut it really slow and um, really carefully and not try not to bend it or, or tweak it you know in either direction so you can potentially use one of these guys here um, but um, you know I got that I, I got a, a you know an actual table band saw you know it's, it's a small one but you know I've kind of been wanting, wanting one already so you know I actually took, the, took advantage of just getting one from Harbor Freight for 120 bucks, um, so we'll, let's see how that works. So I'm going to I'm going to be using these on the flat parts of the of the fuck. I still don't know what to call it. Somebody told me what it, what it is in, in Europe. A laton, the top the top with some. Something to that effect. I don't even remember what it's called, but I think I'm going to start calling it that. I'm going to call it. In fact, I'm about to. I'm about to find out exactly what I'm going to call this thing. Somebody called it. I can't remember the name. M H Techie from from the U K said it's called a Luton. That's what they call it in the U K. So I'm going to call it a Luton from here on out. This is a Luton. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Luton, you know, I know. So we're gonna call it Luton from here on out, guys.
one down, one to go. So, but I got one more to go. seems to be about the right radius there. to house this um, light bar in between these two studs that I, these two curved studs that I cut out. Uh, but keep in mind guys, this is, you know, I've never really done this before. Um, you know, I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go along. I'm also going to install these light bars in between it, in between these two columns um, at, the, at the ends. Right? I want to have these lights at a 45 degree angle kind of aiming out towards the the front of the vehicle you know in case i need that uh, additional lighting you know towards the um, you know outer outer perimeter so and they're going to be controlled individually don't stop that I had to kind of 
fabricate myself. I'll cut out the rectangles to drill some holes. So, um, you know, I'm going, you know, I got these, these, you know, little bolts that I'm going to use to bolt it down to this. So I had to cut this little Allen wrench really short so that I can get in this little area here so I can adjust this. centered here and you got that nice uh, arch initially I was thinking I might be able to bolt it here but I didn't realize that it, it would mean that it will be sticking out and I don't like that it needs to be inside this way so most likely I'm going to have to actually build some more brackets for these guys on the ends because they're going to kind of sit out about this far out so and then the the other thing I have to consider is that you know I have I have a, a length here, but I don't know if this is the actual length of the of the truck. So you know these these measurements here are approximate. You know I think they're pretty accurate, but I don't want to assume that that's this is the final final um, length. I actually left it just a little bit longer. Um, because I'm pre-assembling all of these parts but then I'm going to have to take them down to the farm and and then assemble them there once um, um, mounted once mounted onto the onto the actual truck once I got everything all my measurements all my parts down um, you know I can take them in sections and and assemble them at the farm on the on the actual truck all right so i just had to make two more brackets for these little lights that are going to go in the end so, so the way this is going to go is like this and then it's going to be bolted on like that The next thing after this will be um, putting up the sides and drawing out the profile that I'm going to be using. The side profile will determine on my uh, personal fitting. So that actually will determine the um, actual side profile of the Luton. But, but of course it's got to be very similar to this which um, it's you know the, I got the lights right here so um, I have to you know Put up the the sides up on the platform, um, and then attach attach the the light frame so that I can hold the the sides up. And then I'll just start cutting out my my profile that I want. You know, just you know, which I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't really have an exact um, measurements or anything like that. So that'll be the next the next step. 